I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. Tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm? This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Deeper Down the Rabbit Hole. Now live. Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On the Para-X Radio Network. seconds or more, out, now breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth, breathe as deeply as you can, and start feeling your heart slowing down, feeling the blood vessels in your veins as you relax more deeply and thoroughly, in a moment, you'll be able to close your eyes with that deep relaxation, sliding deeper and deeper into relaxation. So take a deep breath in and slowly close your eyes. Now just imagine that there's super glue gluing your eyes shut as you breathe in and out, relaxing deeper and deeper into relaxation. Now you know that that super glue is drying and try to gently open your eyes against the super glue and you can feel yourself struggling and just stop and relax even more deeply, going deeper and deeper. That's right. Keep relaxing as you breathe in through your lungs, out through your and turn out there. One moment, not right now, in a moment, I will slowly have you open your eyes, and when you close your eyes again, you'll go a hundred times more deep into relaxation than you are right now. Just allow yourself, as I count from one to three, to slowly open your eyes. You close your eyes, you'll go 100 times as deep into relaxation. One, the relaxation coursing through all your veins. Two, more and more relaxed. Three, open your eyes slightly and close your eyes, going 100 times as deep into relaxation. The deeper you go, the better it feels, and it feels so good that you want to, you need to let yourself go so much deeper. As you relax more thoroughly than you are willing to go, you can feel, see, and hear red clouds all around you. And if you focus on those red clouds all around you, you can feel a special sensation, a powerful, forceful, fiery sensation at the base of your spine. Some of you may know this as the root chakra. You can feel that special sensation that you know is energy as the red clouds are all around you. And as you relax more thoroughly, the 
descending deeper and deeper into the red clouds. You can feel that special sensation you know as intense energy right at the base of your spine, growing as you descend deeper and deeper into relaxation. And as you relax more thoroughly than you were a moment ago, you can see, feel, and hear the cloud shift to warm clouds all around you. Beautiful orange clouds. As you feel the area slightly below your midsection, slightly below your navel, having that special sensation that you know as energy. And as you keep drifting downward, deeper into relaxation, as you keep descending deeper in these orange clouds, you feel a little sensation in that area just below your navel with even more power. You feel completely emotionally secure as you descend deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation. And as you do, descending clouds all around you. You can see them shift, feel them shift, and hear them shift to yellow clouds all around you. And you notice that that special location in your solar plexus, you'll know where it is, starts to hum with that special sensation you know as energy. As you descend deeper and deeper, deeper into relaxation, descending deeper and deeper and deeper, safely floating through the yellow clouds. You feel yourself becoming more sure of yourself, descending deeper and deeper into relaxation as you descend deeper and deeper into the clouds. It feels so good. The deeper you go, the better you feel. As you become more relaxed than you were a moment ago, you feel the clouds and see them shifting to green clouds all around you. You feel the spot in the center of your chest vibrating with that special sensation that you know is energy. As you descend deeper and deeper into relaxation, feeling the green clouds all around you, you feel special sensation of love, self-love, and love for others, growing as you descend, floating downward, deeper and deeper into the clouds, deeper and deeper into relaxation. And as you relax more thoroughly than you were moment ago, you notice those clouds shift the blue clouds all around you, wonderful light you feel that special sensation in the center of your throat that you understand as energy vibrating as you descend through the clouds deeper and deeper. And it feels so wonderful. The deeper you go, the better it feels. And as you float through those blue clouds, you feel yourself more able to speak, to speak what you know. Freely as you descend deeper and deeper into the clouds. As you relax more than you were a moment ago, the clouds shift the purple clouds all around you. And you feel that special sensation that you know as energy vibrating and humming between your two eyes. Right between your two eyes, between the brow. And that special sensation between the brows of your eyes as you descend deeper and deeper into these purple clouds, relaxing that special sensation as you feel more and more attuned, more and more aware of other realities. You feel more and more attuned to your own 
the spirit and you're more and more able to see how you fit in with the greater pictures of things as you descend deeper and deeper into these purple clouds relaxing deeper and deeper you can feel white clouds all around you and as you feel those white clouds all around you you can feel even see and understand that heaven and self energy that you understand as the Kia, the holy guardian angel, your higher self. You feel that as you drift deeper and deeper into clouds floating down deeper and deeper, feeling connected, more and more connected those higher aspects of yourself and it feels so good the deeper you go the better you feel the better you feel the deeper you go and you're descending so deeply now as I count from one to three you'll descend all the way through the white clouds to perfect connection one two descending deeper, three, all the way through the white clouds, and you feel yourself resting on earth, plain earth. You can feel yourself so connected to spirit. As you feel your toes and legs start to dissolve, as you descend deeper and deeper into the earth, becoming the earth, as your chest and arms dissolve, as your neck dissolves, even your brain, skull, face dissolves. And that's comfort, stable. As you descend deeper, as you descend deeper and deeper into earth, going, your consciousness flowing down through the dirt, through the granite, becoming long. Descending downward, you start to hear incantations, strange and unusual voices, speaking in strange and unusual languages. You can feel the power building all around you as these voices these strange incantations unleash the chaotic power of the universe. The chaotic power underlying all existence as you descend in the The strange voices bring radical visions, blue ideas, jarring you to your very essence. As you continue to descend deeper, downward towards the ground, you can feel, you can see, you can hear as you reach the mountain, descending deeper and deeper, as you feel the energy so intense. You are reminded of time. Times of pure passion, times of fear, times of aggression, times of pure non thinking, times of pure animals, different forms come to your mind and in the lava. Your essence takes on different forms. 
from the ape which we spawned from wolves, tigers. As you go deeper and deeper, reminding me of yourself of all the different memories of the pure passion, the pure aggression of fear, the pureness of those states of mind with no thought. The sound deeper to the core of the earth. Your body mutating and changing to all the different forms of life in the molten heat the molten heat of pure emotion, unsullied with thought, pure rage, pure desire, fear, the most primal of all emotions. As you shape you from animal to animal, insect, the molten lava all around you, sending deep and deep to the core. Every form changing, every form new perspective, the rage, the fear, the desire switching between all three, becoming the serpent, the fungi, the tree, back and forth between animal and plant. Changing to earlier and earlier forms. Now, moving backwards in the lava. The intensity increasing backwards from the mammal, the chimpanzee, to the mouse. Backwards to become a lizard. Maybe the fish backwards even further to become the fungi and then the plant backwards further, further and further until you are one cell, one bacteria, one thing. In this age, you were known as the Great Spirit. And you feel the hand of the Great Spirit evolving you as you replicate to two selves. And you start to hear a mantra coursing feeling it, it evolves you, Bafome, Bafome, yes, Shabbata, you hear it echoing in the lava, as you're being created, evolved, and the two cells spawn forth. And you feel the very process of life, see the process and know the process of life, creating itself as you evolve further and further to more advanced forms. You are evolving forward, backwards, towards all Now you evolve to more complex organisms, to plants, fungi, understanding, feeling, life organizing itself, seeing the animals copulate with pure passion, spreading their spawns in animal hunting for mate. And you see running through the forests. In this age, you shall be known as Pandora 
the great progenitor in all of us, carrying you through, evolving you to more and more complex forms of matter, more and more complex forms of life. You can feel yourself evolving in the hand of Baphomet, rushing and evolving you in its form of Pan. Evolving up through the mammals into people. And you see, as a person now, the great church, the great churches looking down upon the earth in scorn and hatred. The great churches of the sky casting down their glances at you and all the other things in her with the most horrible contempt. In this age, you are known as the devil, the tormented and the scorned for all things of earth are the enemy. In this age, you can see man and woman hating each other, hating the natural world, hating their natural bodies, forgetting where they came from. And yet, even as this horrible figure, the red cloaked man, you see this figure, the devil evolving you, despite your scorn, despite the scorn, horrendousness, despite the torment of the earth, this one figure still reaches in and falls in front of And you see the great cities rise and feel them shaking The great monuments of man being risen, the great universities, and you see them feel and know yourself as a scientist in a lab you are mixing chemicals mixing and in fact you have all the technology and knowledge of DNA you are creating the entities mixing DNA with your microscope you are creating different whole life. But in the corner of your heart, you know something. This, in this age, you are unknown. But in the corner of your heart, in the corner of your scientific office, you are a shadow, a shadow still reaching inside you and involving you. And from this age that we are at now, you are brought to a new understanding. An understanding where all life is interconnected. An understanding of the paradox of God. God is telling the end of the is light. And you are reminded of the secrets of And you can feel that bacteria in the veins. In fact, you can feel that in your mind. You can feel the echoes of the different creatures. And you can feel the ancestors there as well. See, you can feel the blood. And as 
something new with creative force and power to work your will across this world to contemplate and understand the plight of other cells of their species to understand
the echoing of the mantra and the energy which has transformed you starts to fade, fade away. Your life has transformed. You have transformed. You are different. Filled with the creative power, what can you now imagine? What can you now believe? You are returning back to the world. Returning back to your body. Taking all of the energy and knowledge that you learned back into your core being. As the mantra fades, you will be coming back more and more to the world. And it feels so good to be so transformed. In a moment, not right now, in a moment, I will count from one to five. As I count from one to five, you'll return back to the world, having integrated all of the lessons and power you've gained through this ritual. One, mind, body, and spirit integrated into one. Two, starting to come back now. Three, integrating all the lessons and power, all of the experiences, to every cell of your body, mind, and essence. Four, almost back now. In a moment, when I count to five, open your eyes only when you have integrated all the lessons and power from this ritual. Five, open your eyes with a whole new life, a whole new opportunity, a whole new sense of power and creativity. I want to thank several people uh, for helping with this ritual performance on air. First, Nikki Ward, writer with Julian Wang, writers of the Book of Baphomet for the inspiration and for helping us get many of the mantra work from such talented magicians across the globe. I want to specifically thank Kia Dragon, uh, for helping on the initial phases to be a guinea pig, and that goes along with the members of the Quantum Life Science Institute and Metaphysical School and Mystery School that I am the president and head of. If you're interested in what we do at the Quantum Life Science Institute, go to quantumlifescience.com. I would also like to thank several of the listeners of the show who offered to the guinea pigs at various phases of development. I'd like to thank Rebecca Van Leer uh, for being a wonderful mate and Jason M. Caldwell for also being a wonderful co-host and a wonderful test subject as well while we're working out the bugs. If you want to know more about me, I am Andrea Venomous. You can find more information about me at andreavitimus.com, at andreavitimus on Facebook, or andreavitimus at Twitter. I run, along with many of the advanced students, the Quantum Life Science Institute, where we teach people the art of reality artistry, or the fine art of using the best of breed technologies to create the life that you want. Again, Quantum 